name's Michael Picard. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm not in the best of moods. I just broke up with my girlfriend. It was really depressing. It was depressed because it wasn't my idea. It was my wife's. It's okay, a little does she know I just started seeing a new girl. Well, I did until she closed the curtains. So I'm my own opening act, so I gotta judge you on how, so here we go, hypnosis. The world's fastest hypnotizing a handkerchief. Here we go, one, two, three, sleep. Oh, come on, like you can do faster? Okay, let's try this again here, okay. Sleep! Okay, you're not impressed with that, are you? Okay, let's try this. Okay, hypnosis, here we go, watch, one, two, three, and uh, I had a great time down there. If you ever go to Hollywood, go down Sunset Boulevard. You know, they got those tour buses, tour stars, homes, things like that. Walking down the street. Every time I saw the TMZ bus coming towards me, I'd always go like this. I had my face. I always slowed down thinking it was somebody famous like Johnny Depp. <laughs> Taking pictures, I go, hi. They still took my picture thinking, wow, he must be famous, but I don't know him. So we're also when you're in Los Angeles, you got to go to one of those fancy restaurants you see in the movie where all the stars hang out. It was great. And um, I went down there and uh, went to go into one of those restaurants hoping to sit with and mingle with the stars. And the waiter said, sorry, sir, in order to have a seat in this restaurant, you need to be wearing a tie. I'm thinking I'm far from home. When am I going to get a tie? This is not my problem. I was fuming. So I run out to my rental car. Grab my booster cables. <laughs> wrap them around my neck. And I went back into the restaurant and I said, there, there's my tie. Now can I have a table? And the waiter says, fine, go in. Just don't start anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just my luck. First night back in town, I get jumped. Yeah, I got a really bad uh, medical plan. Uh, this is my defibrillator. Okay, actually, uh, I started with that just so I could start with the magic. I guarantee, do not blink in the next three seconds. One, two, three, boom! Oh, come on, you guys, see the second day. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. Okay, so they want me to do some really impressive stuff with this video promo. So I thought, well, this is my promo, this is my job, this is my show. I do what I want, what I like. My favorite trick. Not because it's the most impressive, not because it's the most amazing, because I get to make the props. Brown paper bag and an empty beer bottle. I just like making the props. I know it looks familiar to a lot of guys out there. Okay, so what you do is you take the bottle, snap the fingers, and it's gone. And this is about the time that everybody goes, Wow, you're amazing, Michael Picard! And then I snap my fingers, and the bottle's back. Thank you. Okay, maybe I did that a little too fast. Let me slow it down a little bit here. Take the bottle, snap my fingers, and it's gone. And this is where the whole audience jumps up and says, Wow, you're amazing, Michael Picard! Uh, no? <laughs> You don't like this trick, do you? Okay, why? Really, you really don't like this trick? That's okay, neither do I. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh! Newspaper yeah. articles. Yes, I like, how many people here read, read the paper? Um, I still read the paper, I clip out the ads, the uh, sale at Walmart. Um, let's see, oh, here's an article here, it says, Dodge will drop out of NASCAR in 2013. Well, they'd be gone now, but it's gonna take them that long to finish the lap. <laughs> it says here, remember last month, there was a big power outage in India? And they were impressed because it only took them two days to restore the power to 750 million homes in India. Only took two days. 
Well, of course they got speedy service. They get the friends and family discount when they call customer service. <laughs> uh, this one here. Oh, they finally took the Pepsi challenge to Columbia. <laughs> yeah, Pepsi lost. It seems Colombians prefer Coke as it is more profitable for them. Uh, this one here. A recent study showed a large percentage of teenage girls are suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome due to excessive texting. So now for the first time in history, you have both teenage boys and girls complaining of a sore wrist. <laughs> it was reported that a man survived going over Niagara Falls without a barrel. And you thought cutbacks on your job were bad. <laughs> mm. it says here, eating genetically modified food is feminizing men. That's right, this article states how eating genetically modified food will turn men into women. I don't believe this and neither does my gynecologist. <laughs> this one here, oh, the website beautifulpeople.com. Right here, this article, and it was on CNN too. The beautiful website beautifulpeople.com deleted the profile of over 30,000 members because they were deemed too ugly to participate. <laughs> I don't know if it's true, I can't log on anymore. Okay, well that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to sit down and read my paper. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.